welcome to the channel. I'm Stasia Bliss. We're doing tarot readings for the first week of September, roughly 4 through the 11th. I'm staggering the videos a couple days. So for Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. So this is the Pisces video. So whether you have a sun in Pisces, moon in Pisces, your rising sign is Pisces, or anywhere where you have Pisces placement, you know, if your Venus is in Pisces, maybe you want to listen to it for love. Um, or if you have a node in Pisces, you know, or you're just wondering what the Pisces vibe's doing, this reading is for you. So we're going to clear the energy. Clearing the cards for Pisces and calling in connection to their highest self, to great spirit. Mother, Father, God, infinite love, which is all present, all pervading. And part of the story, the web, the weaving of reality that makes up us all. <clears throat> We're very multidimensional. This reading will be too. It will not be every single thing for, for every single person. So if there's something in the reading that just doesn't resonate with you, that doesn't mean the whole thing's not for you. I figure if you find this video and you're here, something here is for you. So just listen, take what resonates, what dings you like that. Um, maybe it's just something in the background. I don't know. I got a whole stuff, a whole bunch of stuff going on back here. Being multi-D for you here. Create a little more depth so that you can find the depth that you need within the reading that's here. Let's begin with an animal totem for Pisces for this first week of September 2024 through the 11th. What does Pisces need? The keeper of the secrets. Mm. You know, I always do the readings in the opposite axis. So I just did the Virgo reading and now do Pisces. So Virgo and Pisces are opposite signs. And at the very end of the Virgo reading, there was something that connects here. So I like, if you're, if you're interested to listen to both, like your sign and its opposite sign, that tells you a lot about what's in the background or what's the cause, like what's the shadow element behind what you're manifesting or seeing. So it can always be helpful to do that. So links, keeper of the secrets, some secret was mentioned at the end of that video, if you want to check out Virgo. <clears throat> but this is also saying to you, uh, Pisces, taking time out from the world to be the observer. Okay, nothing can deceive you from your true knowing. So you do know. That doesn't mean there's always a deceit going on either. So if that doesn't resonate, please don't worry and panic and make it resonate. Okay. Um, there's a difference between intuition and worry, right? Okay. So we're going to pull from Herbal Astrology for Pisces. That one did want to come out. We'll grab that one. <clears throat> For the Pisces for this first week of September 2024. Copy the dream. That's Neptune and that's Saturn energy. Very dreamy, but also over time, over sleep, and Tulsi which in this deck is wealth. Tulsi is said to be a manifestation of Lakshmi in the Indian tradition, which is the goddess of wealth or the part of the divine that is the wealth. This is Mercury and Jupiter. And that peacock makes me think of the throat chakra. <clears throat> well, this blue scarfy thing, when it's upside down, it looks just like this peacock in a way. There's kind of like a dual representation of night and day. Somebody's dreaming of wealth or someone's getting some wealth coming in and it's like, hush, hush. That's not for everybody, but there is some element of dreams of money and abundance um, telling you something, telling you some kind of secret. Okay, so any other herbal messages for our Pisces today? Okay. Defend dogwood. 
Okay, needing to de defend your dream. You know, what's right away coming is when we're first dreaming up something and it's like a new energy and we can feel that it could go somewhere and it's very abundant, it's very Jupiter energy expanding in us. Like, we kind of want to keep it a secret. <clears throat> we don't really want to dispel that energy, like discharge the buildup of the divine. You want to defend that fortress and kind of keep it hush hush. And it's not like, you know, any negative quality at all. It's just honoring that creative force. Because sometimes when we are just get so excited and go tell somebody, it disperses and then it just never happens. Do you notice if you just keep having ideas and you just keep telling people like nothing happens a lot of times. Unless you have some great fortitude and a lot of Saturnian energy behind you, really pushing that through. If the dream is strong, let's say. <clears throat> so it doesn't mean you can't tell some people, but there is an element of fortressing an idea or keeping an idea safe. Okay, so let's look at what Pisces might need to know or be guided in. Well, the Empress card is here and Reverse Justice. Anything else for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Some of you women are not being fair. Some of you very abundant women are not like using divine justice, I just have to say. Okay, so now what's the rest of the story here for Pisces? <clears throat> I'm just turning them over the way they came out. <clears throat> I'm going to read them like that. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I need to keep having a drink, guys. Okay, Pisces, what's going on here? The Empress starts this out. So we have a really prosperous energy of a queenly, divine, abundant. So here's that abundant. This is very Lakshmi energy again. And she's next to reverse justice, which always makes me just be like, it's not fair. Reverse eight of cups, reverse hangman. It's like you can't decide if you're going to walk away from something or not. Like, you kind of have it all that there's this thing. And it feels like the thing is the cards above it, three of wands, page of cups, reversed. I mean, is this love? Page of cups can often be a message of love, right? Can we clarify page of cups, three of wands? Let me see what that other one is. Clarify page of cups, three of wands, spirit. <clears throat> Reverse three of wands gets the emperor. Which feels like someone that maybe you wanted to have a future with, but either you couldn't tell them or wasn't working out. Reverse Page of Cups gets Nine of Swords and Knight of Swords. It's very aggressive idea energy that you maybe took from being overbearing and like ran with it. So maybe you got really inflated or they did <clears throat> and said a bunch of things they didn't mean. Some hurtful things, not some nice things. But you're still not sure if you should stay or not. You've maybe been with this a long time. You hope that it might change and move forward. And you don't want to be alone. Reverse hermit. For some of you Pisces, this is not a super great situation. I mean, there is the emperor there, so I get it. The empress wants the emperor. This does feel like it could be a partnership. Of course, it could be an internal battle where you're not sure about, you know, 
letting go of some certain part of yourself or a belief in yourself or a way that you talk to yourself because you know that you can let it go and you can speak to yourself more respectfully with wisdom. But this also very specifically could be in a partnership where one of you, and it doesn't have to be the woman, but the empress, the keeper of the home that watches the children and makes the food, that energy, like is feeling something is very unjust with the emperor. You know, plans are not working out as you thought, like cruel thoughts and opposing beliefs or, you know, feeling like they're on you not messages of love, um, or he's being very anxious, going after what he believes, and he's sort of like leaving you in the dust, and you can't decide if you're going to stay or go. Some Pisces are there. Pisces love to be said nice things too, so I get it. Pisces wants that emotional connection. I mean, Let's clarify, is this Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, what is in the future? I'm getting reverse Ten of Cups. I mean, this is basically saying <laughs> what you want is not what you really want. Like, you think you know how you want it to be, but it's different than that. Can I get some more clarification on reverse ten of cups? Reverse three of cups. Anything else? Pisces, reverse three of cups, like, it doesn't feel like a celebration to you. It feels like a long journey of work if you go ahead in this, and, and then it's not going to be what you want it to be. And it's not going to be exactly what you want it to be. It's going to be something different. It's more about learning to compromise and balance. It's more about, again, like, Knight of Pentacles is like wish fulfillment, manifestation. But again, it's like, manifesting what is really meant for you what it's really supposed to be and it is a renewal and a resurrection but maybe not the way that you would have dreamed it would be but it does end the conflict a conflict that doesn't have to be there Ooh, this is maybe a little bit of a butt kicking pisces who let's see Let's go back to the beginning and let's pull some runes, okay? There's definitely like a dream that you have. The dream can be like an illusion though, like of this beautiful life that you want, that you've been defending all of your life maybe, like this, this dream. And it's maybe been one that you haven't told anybody. Maybe you're not even the person you've been with. Maybe they don't even know what this deep dream is. Or maybe you don't even fully know. Maybe it's been kept inside yourself for so long. You've been defending this rich dream, whether it's to have like the perfect romance or whatever, but now you find yourself in a situation and it's not looking like that romantic thing that you want that always says nice things. Like it's actually this really strong man who's going after his dreams with a little bit of anxiety, but below the surface, like he is the emperor. The emperor and the empress are both present. So there is divine partnership. But it's maybe not the dream that you thought it would be, but it's going to take some work and it's going to take some altering of the way you're looking at things and some balancing stuff out in order for you to recognize it's not all parties all the time. It's not like the girls running around the May pool all the time. It's instead, yeah, it takes some work. Let's pull some runes on the situation for Pisces. Well, it feels like a roll of the dice. It feels like you're taking a chance, but it is divinely inspired. It is protected. It is being led. You are being defended. If I look at these as being guidance cards, like you actually do have a beautiful dream kept in the divine safekeeping. Um, 
but you kind of have to work for it. Like you have to not just be empress, but also work with emperor, you know, like Knight of Wands talks about like boldly going forward, doing the work, the creative work that is necessary. And actually like Ten of Wands reverse, putting down the burdens of the past and like not thinking it's all going to be a party, but like being willing to do the work. Let's get some advice card from Sacred Forest. Guidance, advice card for Pisces in this situation. Yes, that maybe our Pisces are dealing with during this September week. And of course, this could carry on, right? This might not be over after this week. This is just where we're piping in and looking in. Unicorn purity. Starry night acceptance. And spirit guardian of summer expansion. So if you purify yourself, card 45, so is a nine and we're going to end the previous stage. So purity means renewing yourself. And I do like to do these readings in an axis, a divine axis. So the Virgo Pisces axis, Virgo will help you see what's in the shadow element. And there's a whole bunch around this card in that reading. So if you want to check out Virgo, you can see what's behind the situation more, maybe uh, really insightful reading. And just accept so you can expand, accept where you are, accept you are the freaking empress. Like you do have it all. You can expand that sense of self though when you um, integrate your dream, integrate this inner wealth. And defend is kind of saying like, let's break open the heart girl or guy, whoever's watching, let's break it open. Let's give you some practices to support you in coming maybe out of defense mode. Pisces, so that you can actually live on the land of your creation with your divine counterpart. Um, Durga is here. That's another protective element. You may like to use the chant for Durga. Om Durgaya Namaha is a really simple one. Um, or dum, 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 dum. It sounds like dumb, but it's a seed mantra for Durga for protection, for building inner power, inner strength. Um, let me, let's get you a native spirit card too, also to support Pisces. Support Pisces, support Pisces. You might have some heart walls, Pisces, that need to come down. Maybe you see me for some emotion code work. And with that defend card, um, a lot of protective energy around your um, queendom here, the Empress. Um, storyteller. Hmm. It might be time for you to tell your story. Like whatever this secret story is. Maybe it's not, but maybe it is. For some of you, it will be therapeutic. And maybe to your emperor. Maybe it's time that you tell the story there that hasn't been told. And maybe why I reverse three of wands is with the emperor is like, you aren't making the steps to reach that person either. You aren't giving the message of love. You're leaving it all on them who are, you know, working hard to, to maintain just like you are, but you know, it can, one of you can switch the reverse justice around. And since you're watching this, it gets to be you. So storytelling is a powerful powerful thing we can do to transform our realities even if we're just telling the story in our own journal or around the fire as a tale or we tell jokes about it or we get up in front of an audience or we tell our family or we call a friend or we call a therapist or whoever I'm happy to sit and listen to your stories as well as part of what I do um, and if you want more details on this reading, you can book a personal reading with me. Details are below. Those are always done on a by donation basis. I can do them over Zoom or over text app anywhere in the world. So uh, I take a multitude of payment forms for your donation. So, okay, that's all I have for you, Pisces. So if you want more to refine on this personal reading, otherwise watch your opposite sign um, or your moon or your rising, if you're not watching those, um, to give you a little deeper insight or multidimensional view on what's going on for you. Okay, we'll see you next week. Thank you for being here. Um, enjoy my other content in the meantime. And namaste.